Sevenos Tsitsipas versus Daniel Medvedev is the second semi-final for the Rome Open for the men for 2023. And both guys have been very impressive to get to this stage. Tsitsipas entered the tournament as the number five seed, and we're going to buy in the first round. Second round, he take on Borges, which is no problem getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3. In the third round, he take on Sinego. And after a rain delay and the match going over two days, Tsitsipas would get through in straights, 6-3, 7-6. In the fourth round, he take on the number 18 seed, Musetti, in a match that would start at midnight due to delays. There's no problem for Steph getting through in straights, 7-5, 7-5 to advance to the quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Tsitsipas will take on the number 15 seed, Chorich, who had had some real battles in the past. This is no problem for Steph this time, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-4 to advance to the semifinals. Medvedev started the tournament off as the number three seed. We get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Rusevori. There's no problem for Medi, getting through in straights, 6-4, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on the 31 seed, Morales, who'd actually been pretty good on the clay this season. So dropping the first set, Medvedev would fight back to win, 3-6, 6-1, 6-3. In the fourth round, he take on 19 seed Alexander Zverev who we'd had some very big battles with this year this was very impressive from Medvedev getting through in straight sets 6-2 7-6 to advance to the quarterfinals in the quarterfinals Medvedev would take on the qualifier Hanfman who had taken out Rublev and Fritz along the way but this was so far Medi's most impressive performance getting through in straights 6-2 6-2 to advance to a semi-final in Rome these two guys have played 11 times before with Medvedev holding the head-to-head 7-4 over City Pass they've only played on a clay court twice with the head-to-head split down the middle at 1-1 and Tsitsipas has won their last two matches on hard courts. Confidence will be with Steph, especially being on a clay court, which is his preferred surface. Having a look at shot quality, thanks to Tennis Insights, on the serve, Tsitsipas holds the edge from the last 52 weeks with an 8.2 compared to the 8.0 from Medi. But Medvedev's got a better return with a 7.7 compared to a 6.7 from Tsitsipas. Forehand goes to Steph, though, 8.3 to an 8.1. And Medvedev's backhand, the more solid of the two, with a 7.7 to a 7.1. So, very interesting to see how this one goes, considering how split all the major shots are, thanks to shot quality. Previous round, though, Sidibas did hit a 9.7 forehand shot quality, which is near perfect in his Chorich match. But Medvedev's defense has been very, very solid this week, so it's going to be tough for Steph to get through the defense. He's going to have to use a lot of forehands and use that big serve to effect. And the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches, brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter, link down in the description. This is such a fun matchup. Every time they've played, it always produces something, either fireworks or a really close matchup. But I think Tsitsipas is going to get this one. But on the clay courts, it's a little bit too hard to pick Medvedev over Tsitsipas on a clay court, especially considering Tsitsipas is now starting to win the hardcore battles between the two, which was always Medvedev's sort of safe space. So I think it's going to be Tsitsipas getting through this one, maybe three sets, and hopefully some fireworks as well. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is making to the final?